What's up YouTube? I made a video on this build's max badges. Now I'm showing you guys the max attributes at 99 overall my slashing 4. You see I have a high layup and a high dunk. I can get really good dunk animations with the 75 plus. Plus I get long athlete on a 6 foot 9 build. My shooting mid range in the 80, 3 point is 75. That's higher than you know 2 way slash and playmakers and they hit all their shots and this build is 6 9. Of course my post moves are 99 so I can bully anybody smaller than me. And then rebounding, block, interior, and perimeter, all decent on a build that is six foot nine max weight with rim protecting takeover. Let me show you guys some, uh, you know, my shots, dribble moves, dunks, and layups, all that stuff because I am sure you guys are going to want to know. Uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much basic stuff. I like Curry. I like Pro 3 Hesitation. Long Athlete is a must. It's the best layups in the game. And then some athletic one-handers, some big man tomahawks, you know, back scratchers, front clutches. I even get pro alley-oops on this build if someone needs to catch a lob for the final seconds. Uh, I mean, other than that, I put on park dunks just to make it look flashier. Sometimes they get blocked, but when you finish them, they are nice. Even though it's slashing for he doesn't get contact dunks, unfortunately, but you do get quick first step Hall of Fame. I showed that intro. I'm going to show one one more uh, one more 1v1 gameplay, and then I'm going to show you a 2s gameplay to cap off the video. Now, so my slashing 4, I felt like this is a really unique build because it's not like one of those builds that's in a box. You know, you don't have to play center with this. You don't have to play point guard. You can play anything. You can be a dribbler with this build. You can be a spot up. Let me do something crazy just to start off, just to show you guys too. Six foot nine. A 75 three-pointer, and I can start off with shots like that. Now, I didn't green it. Luckily, I got the white win in, but hey, we'll take the shot either way. He's playing back. Again, you don't get 86 ball control, so you don't get, like, momentums and stuff. But you see the dribble moves I'm able to do, especially with that step back right there. It is a super efficient on a build that has Hall of Fame, a uh, quick first step, and a build that is six foot nine. So it looks like you take so many steps whenever you go. It is something that comes into play big. That's, like, the one main move. Hitting him with the jab step right here, going to the paint. I've shot a couple shots, so now he knows I can shoot. So now I got to show him I can dunk. Show him the full package. There's not really a good way to guard this build. Because if you play back, you're going to get shot on. If you play up, you're going to get laid up on just like that. Now I got my rim protecting takeover. So the worries are gone. If I get it, if I uh, turn it over, I'm probably going to get a stop. Hit him with that again. But, uh, ooh, a late uh, airball. I'm not going to lie. I was trying to do a super spin jumper, but it gave me that. But, hey, let me show off this defense real quick. Now, this build is not the fastest build in the game, and it doesn't have Hall of Fame defense. But what this build does, it gives you the ability to stay in front of guards and to guard centers. He comes up almost high enough, but hey, I green that anyway. The green jump shot landing I have on this build, I feel, I, I think it just fits a six foot nine, two hundred seventy pound build perfectly. Hit him with the little mid range right there. I'm always looking for you know the simple stuff with this build. I got quick, I got a handles for days Hall of Fame, but there's only so many dribble moves I can do. So when I have the open lane or if I have the open shot, I usually take it. Cooking up a little bit right here, simple cookups. It looks different. I know you're used to the typical dribble god, you know, ninety ball control, two way slash to play your offensive threat. This build does not have that, but I'm showing you guys you can cook up, you can make your own shot with this build and you'll see in the next game you're able to do more than just you know iso on the one score with this build 21 points i only airballed that one shot or else it would have been a perfect game and you see we're going up against a g-man fan 
and his uh, teammate that has watched a drippy face scan tutorial video. Hey man, shout out to them. Let me know in the comments if you guys ever watched a drippy face tutorial. His name is iGweens 4 vc He is a glass cleaning lockdown. This man is an offensive threat with shot creator tech. We're going to be a tough matchup, can't lie. You know, pretty good builds. Beast is on his deep range shot creator. I'm on my slashing four. Both of us can spot up. Both of us can ISO. Uh, I mean, Beast build not the greatest for defense, but he is 6'5 with decent wingspan, so he will be able to hold his own defensively. And my build's got super high wingspan being 6'9, and I got 9 defensive badges, so I'll be able to hold up my own. That's all it takes sometimes. So giving it to Beast starting off, you know, I'm telling him I need to get a couple spot up shots for the video just to show you guys. But I decided, you know, I'm going to go in and screen, show you this build can even be a screen setter. He dots me, working the center. He kind of playing up, kind of playing back. Not sure what kind of build I am, I'm sure. I work for the three, but I dot Beast instead. He dots me right back. The ball movement. Now, unfortunately, if you saw my guy lean, that's a full white. You can't do anything about that. 2K is just going to hit you with those. And uh, it's kind of surprising the amount of people that don't know what a full white is. A full white is not full in your meter up all the way, and it's just slightly, slightly. A full white is when your dude actually does like a lean animation like that. What it means is you shot a green, but 2K doesn't want to give you the green, so they're giving you the full white. In case you guys didn't know, I've seen a lot of confusion about that. But G-Man is dribbling up now. Irish string, you know, has the AI size up. He's playing pretty decent defense. I'm not going to let Beast get destroyed in the paint, so I'm going to go down. I'm going to drop down. Beast going to pick up the corner. Perfect defense, but uh, look at this man, dude. Takes a weird off dribble shot, and he hits it 4-0. All right, man. It's, it's looking bad. We got to get the ball. What can I say? I'm telling Beast play high on him. He tries to throw a lob. What is this guy doing? Unfortunately, we could not recover it. I'm, I'm not sure. You know, a glass cleaning lockdown, they can be decent and athletic, but they're not going to be the best lob catchers in the game, especially when there's somebody there. Maybe he thought he had me stuck. But, hey, 10 seconds. I'm, like, pressing up, just making him waste time. This glass cleaning lockdown will not be able to beat me to the basket. So I'm not worried about getting back in front of him. Four seconds left. Beast locking up right here. Big defense going for a reverse layup. Look at how these guys are scoring. Six to zero. Now, usually, you know, I would just cut all of this out and uh, show you right to where we got the ball and started cooking up. But so many YouTubers do that. I'm just trying to be different. I'm trying to show you guys some stuff. You see this man Greens right there. That is a good play, a good quick stop, 9-0. to zero. I like to show you the stuff behind the scenes. Let me know if you guys like seeing it or if you'd rather me just cut all this out and show our offense. But, you know, 9-0, to zero, it, this dude could be close to shot creating takeover. Got to make this guy take a shot. I feel like I baited him pretty well. It said wide open, but I feel like I made him nervous. Now, B. Scott, I'm telling him, dot me if this dude is sad. I'm ready to shoot. He does just that. Bang. 9-3. to three. Now we have the momentum. They had it, but hey, we just took it. We swooped. I'm telling Beast, I can ISO this man. Give it to me. He knows I can shoot now. That means the paint is going to be open. He is playing back. My dude is looking weird with the dribbles. Getting past him. Reverse dunk. If anyone's playing too high, like they're kind of playing that midi right there, it's always an easy reverse dunk. I know AP you say it may be cheesy, but if that's what they're giving you, that's what you should take. Or you could have hop step right there. Either one work. Beast isoing up now. I am at the top of the key just to give him more space. He gets to the paint. Beautiful dot. I shoot a white. Thank you, 2K, for allowing that to go in. I already shot a full bar, so I feel like, you know, I feel like I deserve to make that one right there. Nine to eight. I mean, Beast doesn't do anything. They're gonna have to figure something out because they're letting me score way too many points. I was going to go for another reverse again, but I saw it looked like he was lagging. I thought I had a quick dive, but hey, I guess he's back now. Hit this dude with a big body. Going for the pop. You can pick and roll, pick and pop with this build or like spot up for the ISO. Beast able to do his weird spins, get in the paint, hit the layup. 9 to 10 now. It's our game. It's our league. You see me dancing. My takeover is halfway up. I am ready to destroy this man. A glass cleaning lock is not really a good, and you see he just leaves Beast wide open for the three. I think he wanted to switch. The center was not on board with it, so they let Beast wide open. A glass cleaning lock is not a good matchup for this build. If you want to guard a slashing four, you need speed to keep up with a quick first step Hall of Fame. And with me, I'm a good matchup for them, so it doesn't. it's not really balanced all the way around. You see Beast dot me for the three. This build is an amazing spot up, 9 to 16. I mean, not much more to say. Dot Beast right there. He gets in the paint. Hits with the park dunk. I have my takeover now. 9 to 18. All we need is one nice, beautiful three to end the game. Let's see how we'll get it. I'm telling Beast, pick and pop, pick and pop. Hit him with a big body right there. Rim protecting takeover. Not sure if it helps with screens, but sometimes it seems like it does. Hitting him with a little step right there. Hop step in the paint. Beating this dude. He is just too slow. 9 to 20. Didn't end it with a three. Maybe we'll end it with a three now. Maybe we'll end it with a two. Who knows? 
but I'm gonna tell you guys one thing. The ending of this game is wild. Look at all this. So Beast with the ball. I am begging for the ball, but he is not giving it up. You already know what he's gonna do. He's gonna take that shot right there. Three percent, not a terrible shot. I can't, I can't say, but it was deep. Now this dude's got the ball. He's trying to run it out. Uh, I'm not sure why he didn't just give it to Irish String. Beast really wasn't pressing up on him, but it is what it is. Now this dude cooking up. Watch what happens. He gets past him. I get bumped. This dude doing. I'm getting back there. Jumping. 80 cent per. Blah, blah, blah. Super contested. This dude has the ball now. Going for the reverse. I'm there for the block. Beast gets the ball. I'm trying to get behind the red line. I'm telling Beast get ready to shoot because they're probably going to leave you open. I take a white. Completely user error. I should have hit that. This dude throws a steal. Everybody's nervous. Telling Beast to end the game. He shoots a white. Giving it to the point guard. He shoots it before checking the ball. And now we got to end this, all right? It's been crazy. It's been uh, it's been like a circus couple of seconds. It's time to end the game. It's, it's looking ridiculous for a couple of minutes. But, hey, I'm shooting the wide open three. Bang. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. If you like the slashing four, this is Tonic. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace out.